What's happening guys, it's Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck and I'm just taking a little trip down memory lane here. Uh, that first truck there you just saw was the first one we bought and sold because we didn't think it was going to have the, the stoutness to handle the oven. And then we had an opportunity to get the uh, Bluebird pretty much, I don't know, maybe for free or super cheap, but one walk in that one and we knew it just wasn't for us, so... Found the Snap-on Chevy P30 diesel motor, super heavy-duty suspension, and uh, that's what we went with. And uh, just going through, showing you, here's a bunch of pictures of us. Uh, when I bought the truck, it was fully stocked. Shelves, lights, pegboard, you name it. So I don't have the pictures, but I gutted it out, went up with FRP on the walls, and uh, a little picture of the Hobart mixer there. Um, passed us by here we are on to the when the oven got delivered getting ready to cut a hole in the side of the truck and it's out windows in look at that garden through the window it's what happens when you're unemployed but here's some pictures you know getting the window framed in getting the sink where it needs to be more FRP up on the walls running the electric um, all my electric is up in the top of the walls, and then I've got it covered up with uh, strips of diamond plate. I did all the diamond plate in the roofs. Um, luckily, this truck was already insulated, being a snap-on truck. Here we got the brand new refrigerator in. That's the top of the oven, so I was just kind of sizing it out there, getting a good look at everything. And I would just, every morning I'd get up with my cup of coffee, and I'd go out and stand in the truck and look to see what I could do, what I could afford to do, what needed to be done, what I've already done, uh, just watching the layout. Here's the oven. Once we got the stand up and started to put the oven together, uh, the hardest part was getting the stand up and the oven, uh, the stand alone, the base was uh, probably 13, 14, 1500 pounds. It took like six or seven of us. And, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. We just got the oven going together. Just different pictures. There it's all together. After this, we went ahead and you, you mortar it all together with the flue pipe in. And then an insulation blanket goes down over that. And then you start installing your walls. And uh, once your walls are up, you fill it with uh, perlite, a styrofoam. And there must be four bags. Here's my electrical coming out the side of the truck, running back to the generator. Refrigerator going in. Just another picture of the oven. And just all kinds of pictures. Just the only pictures I really don't have is when I tore out all the stuff in the truck. I cut the tail the lift gate in half there to fit fit the generator. There's the electrical boxes. There's the under the tanks underneath, the pump, the uh, the smokestack, there's mark up on the roof, cutting the hole. We measured about 40 times and cut once. Came out right on the money. And here we have a little picture of my plumbing job. All nice and neat, tucked in underneath there, and then everything went to 1S pipe. That went down through the ground. Uh, through the floor, and then the tank is mounted underneath there. I think that was a picture with some of the FRP in there. Had some old KLHs that went up in the corner for some tunes. This is my freshwater pickup, same thing. Tank's right underneath that floorboard. Here's the oven fully put together with the sheet of diamond plate on the front that we did. First fire. And uh, first pie. You can see how far we've come. <laughs> It's real. You got to start somewhere. I mean, it's just the way it is. We had some footballs, too, that we had mixed in, but uh, I don't know where the pitchers are to those. And you can see it slowly starting to come together. I don't have the shelves up here, but for the most part, this is when I was fortunate. I got time to run the oven. Dad's boat took us out. We, uh, we can scallop here in our area during the summers. So this was one of our little adventures, and that uh, when we were still learning the oven, scallop pizza, basil, butter, garlic, sauce, you know, 
didn't look like it was a well-made pizza, but man, that thing was delicious. And here's another look. You see our the wires run back so you can plug in the generator on the lift gate or take it off and pull it away from the truck so it's not so noisy when you're doing events. Stripping all that snap on uh, logos off was quite quite the feat. Tanks mounted underneath. I came up with the strap idea and seven years later, unbelievable. Works like a charm. Some of the first pies and then you can start to see progress. This was one of the first days out. This is my first spot, Grandma and Grandpa. God bless you, Grandpa. Up in heaven with us. Beautiful margarita, some of my early pies, some of my early woods deliveries I used to get. Peaking 95 in the truck, not a biggie. One of my first stacks, I was proud of that one. This was right after, I believe, uh, I got it all logoed up. That's when the Hobart went down on me and I ended up by gutting it and completely redoing it. There's it cleaned up and primer. Never did get to paint it. Another pizza. And then the sacrifice is to keep the, keep, keep the show going. Got rid of the rail buggy. That was my CR250. We'll have another one in the garage someday, but for now. Looking fresh right there. And this was my oven. Sold sold my little custom skiff and that's what bought the oven that's what got it started this is my second spot tried that for a little bit the progression of the wood pile and the woodshed this is uh, over at dad's shop uh, customer had me out one time to work his oven make him pizza that's uh, a pizza out of that little oven right there guy didn't know how to use his own oven I went out there had a little party for him and he was blown away the day I bought the MS-250, that's cut a lot of wood for me. Been a wonderful saw. <clears throat> this is us back out at Dad's uh, recycle yard, PAW Materials. We were getting some wood. This is before I used to get it delivered. And we were just getting it stuck to have fun. Sean, my brother's up in the bucket. Dad's running the, the dozer, the loader, and 